modifying an existing scene. In this example, we are going to take an existing scene and add a track map with lap timing information. We will also add a sponsor's logo and change the range of the speedometer. First select the preloaded silver scene which has a speedometer with a range of 360 km an hour. Now let's add a track map. Go to the Elements tab and select Track Map from the list of elements. The country you are in should automatically be detected and then you should be able to choose from the various tracks stored in the circuit database. In this example we are going to use the Silverstone Arena circuit. The track map now appears in the main workspace and you can drag it into position. You will see a green dot on the track map. This shows that the start finish line has also been loaded from the database which allows the lap timing element to function. You can change the size of the track map by clicking on the bottom right hand corner. You can change the appearance of this map using the properties tab. Let's change the width and colour. There are already lap timing text elements in this scene and they will now use the start finish line data to show lap times in real time. The way these elements function is configurable in the elements properties section. The next task is to change the range of the speedometer. Say we want to display miles an hour and a maximum of 120. Select the speedometer element and then expand the background property. You can now change the maximum to 120 and the units to miles per hour. Next you have to change the text on the speedo. In this scene the text has been placed on top of a blank gauge so you can simply edit the text with a new range. Start off by changing the first text element to 20, the second to 40 and so on until the last one reads 120. Now you will need to change the label on the speedo from kilometres an hour to miles an hour. Then you can add a sponsor's logo. So select static images from the element type and click on new. Select the image you wish to use and then drag it into position. You can resize the logo by clicking on the bottom right hand corner. It is best to keep the aspect ratio the same size by holding down the shift key before you resize this element. Note that if you try to make an image larger than the original, then the quality will suffer, so try and use an image at least as big as you need. You have now created a scene with your own track map, timing element, speed range and logo, so you can install this in the video B box. To do that, insert an SD card into your computer and click on the Upload via SD card button. Select the location of the SD card and choose a name. The scene file is now saved onto the SD card and to install this in the video V box simply power it up and insert the SD card. After a short period of time the scene will be installed and the video V box will reboot. You will then be ready to go.